All right, welcome back. This is part two of the observatory build. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the last video. Today we are pouring the concrete pad that the shed is going to um, set on. We already got it formed up, and um, I'll show you that right here. So here's the concrete uh, form. We've already got it staked and leveled up perfectly. Uh, we got some of this roofing paper over some dirt and sand and some rocks that we got it uh, the correct height. And uh, it's gonna be gonna be about a three inch, three and a half, three inch uh, height concrete. And we're gonna put, found some of these old uh, oven racks that I'm gonna put in there as we pour the concrete to help just lock it in. I got a hammer and just bent these in opposite directions for it to grab hold of the concrete better. But yeah, this is where it's gonna be at. Um, if we have some leftover concrete, I'm gonna just put a little walkway right here and finish it up with a couple of these stones. The door is gonna be right here and this is the view I'm gonna have. So really similar to where I was set up just right over there on the concrete before. So nice view to the south and east and a uh, little bit of some blocking with the trees to the north but that's not a huge deal at all and a better view to the west depending on what i'm shooting um but yeah really happy with this spot and this ground was already like super level so we didn't have to do much to begin with so i'm actually going to reutilize these two by fours for the external support structure for the roof to roll off on and this is where those are going to go right there so it'll be rolling off right over there so yeah should be great we're gonna start pouring once the sun gets a little lower at about seven o'clock cools down it's like super hot So I've got the wood cut in the shape of the roof. So this is a completely square square that the roof will attach to. You saw me set it on there with the GoPro footage. But uh, 
I'll do a time lapse of all this stuff. But that roof will sit on these, and I'm going to screw it down where I have those holes marked, if you can see it. And this is the five foot side, which is only about four and a, these were only about 52 inches long, 52 inch long cuts. It's about four foot three across. Um, yeah, this will be the frame of the roof. Caster wheels will be attached to the bottom of this to ride on a V-track rail um, all the way across the shed. So now um, I'm going to use um, some L brackets and put them in each corner and lock this stuff in and then I will attach the roof on. So stay tuned. So now I have the roof uh, base framed up. Um, this, we, this is going to be riding on um, small caster wheels which will then be riding on a rail to roll off the, the roof itself from the shed. Um, so yeah, I just used the included screws with the shed to uh, attach it to this square. I used L brackets to attach it all and I'll probably get some more metal brackets to tie it in right there. Then it's just a matter of putting the metal sheeting roof on top of this and putting the wheels on there and uh, we'll be good to go. So yeah, we're going to pour the concrete. We got 16 bags of 80 pound bags uh, concrete. So we're going to mix that up and pour it in. And tomorrow I'll have a, a concrete slab to work with. And there's some of the bags there. I put some in our my vehicle there. And there's the rest right there. It's like 1,200 pounds. 1200 pounds worth of concrete. So I got some more stuff in the mail today too for the roof. Um, got the V-Track rails and uh, the caster wheels from Amazon. So here is the track, the uh, V inverted V-Track rail. This is 24 feet worth. It's uh, six foot sections. Um, I got this off walmart.com. Um, but yeah, that is what the roof will be rolling off on. I'm going to get some more 1x3s and frame this up a little bit more to make it a little more stable. And here are the wheels right there. So they're, they'll just roll right on that track just like that. And I believe I'll be mounting these on the bottom of the roof. Also got some uh, metal snips because I'll be uh, cutting those vent holes out a little bigger for uh, solar power ventilation fans. But overall, it's going really good so far. Super excited. So within the next couple weeks, I will have a functional observatory and should be great. So yeah, here in a couple hours, uh, me and my dad are going to start pouring the concrete, so I'll see you then. I'm going to do a time lapse of that, so catch you here in a bit.
All right, guys, so it is two days later and the concrete slab is done. There it is right there, and that is the foundation for the observatory. So we're gonna move it over there and set it on top here just in a few minutes and uh, get down there and anchor it down in a couple more days once this uh, concrete sets for probably two or three more days before we actually drill into it and anchor it. But uh, yeah, it wasn't bad. It's a six by five foot. Uh, we measured it to have about a two inch overhang on each side of the shed. But uh, yeah, here it is. This will be the floor of the observatory. So yeah, super looking, really, really looking forward to this. And uh, we're gonna move it over here in just a few minutes. So I'll see you then. Perfect, dude. Yep. That's a little overlap. 